being an RA in Loftus has its moments. There's those moments when you love your residents. Don't even know what you're having a dance party. There's the moments when if you get one more knock on your door, you're just gonna take it off its hinges. Tyler! <laughs> and there's the moments when you have to be authoritative. Red's life! I'd say that life on floor two, for the most part, has been one big happy family. And as with every family, each individual brings their own uniqueness to the environment. One day, I picked up ten hairballs, all from Brooke and Katie. Hey girls, what's up? You read on my board? Tyler, I can't do speech class. I'm freaking out. I can't do it. Example A. Complaining about classes. Stop your complaining. Let's just go get a slice of pizza. So one time during finals week, I had pizza for five days straight for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Brooke, you should talk to your professor, and if you're having a hard time with the course, maybe you could stay after and have extra help, or if you want to do your speech just for the professor, because if you don't feel comfortable talking in front of the class, I mean, it's a required course. Okay, thank you for helping me, Tyler. Okay. One time, I ordered these boots that I really needed for my birthday, and I needed Tyler to open up the mailroom on the weekends because it was an emergency. It's you easy. If you need me to help you, better. you can practice in front of me. <laughs> I'm always here yes, to help you. Yes, I can you. do it! Hey, what's up, girls? <laughs> I don't fit into my pants. No, like, really, I don't fit into my pants. Did you see the new Lady Gaga video, Marry the Night? Like, she does dance, and she goes all around. <laughs> no, Did you see the new honestly, thing? Honestly, no, Tyler, I can't get dressed. Which gray shirt do you like better? <laughs> Tyler, no, like, if you weren't my RA, what one would you like better? I have a lot of female residents. Um, I think... That one. This one? Yeah. So if you weren't my RA? If I weren't your RA. Totally? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm a big movie guy, and I have a collection of over 300 DVDs in a binder. So at my first floor meeting, I told my residents if they ever need a movie, to just come and, you know, ask for the binder. And they do. Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Hey, can I borrow the DVD binder? DVD binder. DVD binder. DVD binder. DVD binder. Again. The boys in OT9 are great guys. They're involved a lot on and off campus but sometimes they like to bump their music just a little too loud. In sync. Hey, Daddy, can you turn on the music just a little bit? Yo. Hey, can you guys turn on the music, please? What up, man? Hey, Nate, can you guys just turn on the music a little? I like to say, I like to say, it's just a little loud for the floor. All right, I'm thanks, man. Go off it. All right, Go thanks, it. Joe. Got it, bro. Okay, <laughs> What's great about having 42 residents is that if ever I need something, one of them is sure to have it. Hey, can I borrow some duct tape? Do you girls have any dryer sheets? Do you girls have any silverware? Hey, can I borrow the vacuum, girls? Can I borrow some tube socks? Hey, Monica. Hey. Can I borrow your elf DVD? Yeah, of course. But you can't scratch it. You, you really can't scratch it. I'll come after you. Okay. I'm serious. If you scratch it, I'll, I know where you live. So I'll bring it back so after I watch it So I'll be in your room tonight. in about... It's about an hour and a half movie, okay. so I'll be there. Okay, sounds then, good. Okay, okay. thanks, Monica. Yeah, no problem. It's been three days, still haven't gotten my Elf DVD back. Getting kind of worried. He probably scratched it and is too scared to tell me. So, me and my roommate both share a love for music, and we both like to play guitar. Sometimes late at night, sometimes loudly. Now the top will be so high that nobody can reach you. Ashley, do you hear that? Are you kidding me? It's just gonna be another one of those sleepless nights. I didn't know John Mayer lived next door. And the walls here in Loftus are pretty thin. It's ridiculous. I'm tweeting right now. Some I'll ride a boy. Oh, yeah. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> My residents are tweeting about us. <laughs> we should probably stop. No, it's like, at least play something good. Just play Taylor Swift. Like, what is that? <laughs> You love them. No! Well, yeah, but... Hey, girls. Hi. I wanted to apologize for the plane last night. I hope I didn't keep you guys up too late. It's no. Okay. It's fine. Okay, thanks. Have fun in classes fun. today. Thanks, Bye. you too. I'll probably do the same thing tonight. So one night after a program of Capture the Flag versus the Ninth Floor, which we sadly lost, our floor decided to take a little revenge, which started a new war, which resulted in one of my residents getting a little wrapped up in it all. Chris, are you okay? I got Saran wrapped. 
What happened? Oh my god. I don't even know where to start unwrapping. Me neither. Um. I went up to Erica and called the truce. I keep spinning, I keep spinning, spinning, spinning. There we go. Oh, you're welcome, Krista. <laughs> so some of my residents like to pull pranks on each other. Nothing that I taught them, nothing that I encouraged, but hey, what's a little harmless community building, eh? <laughs> It was a combination between I just kind of felt like it and she's from Long Island. She can't help where she comes from, you know? Prank War 2012, it's on. I flipped Meg's hangers the opposite way because she hates when her clothes are backwards. Do you want to sit on your bed or get your clothes out? I don't know. What do you want to do right now? You're really funny. You guys are all like I know. hilarious. It's funny. It's great. I don't really have anything to say right now. I'm good. And you can turn that off. So I came into my room. Just crumple each individual page up so that it creates the most trash. And I was not happy. So now I'm going to do something to you. It's payback. Loftus encountered a first, a mold epidemic. Now my room was safe, but I can't say that for the rest of the floor. Shannon? Whoa. Oh my gosh, Shannon. Whoa. We're going to the Marriott. We have mold. Are you I don't know, we have mold. Are you Who cares? Kidding? We're going to the Marriott. Free room service, everything. We're going to the Marriott! Wait, I just got back from class. What Hurry is up! This? I don't know. I what so I just found out that we're going to the Marriott. Not excited. I only had a half hour to pack. That is not enough time for being a girl. Taking everything. Calm down with your stuff. It's okay. Everything. <laughs> you know there's probably mold all over this stuff anyway. No, there's not. You have to throw it all out. No, there's not. It's my freshman year, and I gotta move out of Loftus. You're so dramatic. There's no it's no big deal. Personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We're only going to be there a week. Probably longer. I've had mold before. It sucked. Yes, my girls in 024 had mold. And because of it, they had to move to the Marriott for two weeks. Hey girls, what's up? So I just got an email from Derek saying that you guys got mold. Chris, are you okay? <laughs> Put your room back so it'll be nice and brand new when you come here. No more mold. Okay. Do you think you packed enough, Krista? <laughs> Everything. So, but if you need anything, absolutely email me or text me. Hopefully, all goes well. And I'll see you guys in a week. Yeah. Have fun. Thanks, Thanks Tyler. Thanks. Thank you. As an RA, it's great having residents who want to help you with decorations. What they don't know is that when I ask them to help me with something, it really means you're staying here until the project's done. So you asked me to cut one ghost, and now I'm in Ghost Town cutting all the ghosts. Hey, thanks for all your help cutting all those out, Maggie. Free. The girls of 025 experienced some interesting situations this semester. The first one involving roommate conflict. I thought me and my roommate were like friendly, but then I came back from class 
And she poked my eyes out of my picture. Come in. Hey, Caitlin. You wrote Hi. that you wanted to see me? Um, yeah. Sarah poked my eyes out. Like, how did you find this? It was on the wall. <laughs> you know, I'll absolutely talk to Sarah, because this is just uncalled for and unacceptable. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel safe in the room? I feel very uncomfortable, Tyler. I'll get it worked out for you. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, Caitlin. <laughs> Have fun doing homework. Thanks. The next incident kind of went along with the first one. It involved girls being, well, mean girls. Not Regina George status, more like Karen. Come in. Hey girls. Hey. So I just needed to talk to you about something that uh, I just had come up to me. I heard and saw that you had been posting things online about someone and, you know, that's a form of cyberbullying and it's not acceptable at Ayana. I just wanted to let you know that I am going to have to document you for that. You'll have a judicial about it, but I just wanted to let you know that, you know, you shouldn't do that and just know that what you post online, anyone can see. It's not just who, you know, you're talking to or anything that's visible to anyone. Remember that you need to be conscious and aware of what you're posting online. And I'm here to talk to you, but I just want to let you know that just be careful next time you go to tweet or post on Facebook. Okay. I'm okay. Ready. Thanks, girls. Thanks. <laughs> From this dilemma, we've both learned that you shouldn't write anything on social networking sites because everybody can read it, and if you say something mean, then you become a cyber bully. For our punishment, we had to create a poster, and it basically just shows and shows other people um, the danger of cyberbullying. Now the last incident even caused me to kind of get squeamish, and I found myself checking under my covers and my bed nightly. So, fair warning. I woke up for class one morning and walked into the bathroom, turned the lights on, and there it was, a cockroach staring at me in my face, so I just screamed. So I'm about to go into 025 because they found bugs in their room, in the shower, in their beds, and everybody in their sleep, so I'm just going to go in and talk to them about the bugs. <laughs> Hi girls! So I got a note on my door from Felicia that said you guys have bugs? The other day, I'm laying on my bed on my, on my computer, and out of the corner of my eye, I see bugs crawling up the wall. The other morning, I was brushing my teeth, and I looked in the mirror, and there was a bug crawling into a hole in the ceiling. I'm definitely gonna call facilities or someone and get an exterminator in here. We need it ASAP. Because... <laughs> Their hole above there. That's where oh, that they, they come out of? Their portal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, note to self to n tell them that there is a portal and to make sure they come out of the portal. <laughs> Anything else? Are there any other problems that you guys are having with Mice! Them? We have mice. Yes. mice. There's a mouse hole. We'll get some traps in here. We'll catch the bugs. We'll get the mice. What are you guys, like, feeding in here? Do you have, like, what are they feeding on? Like, what are you leaving out for them? They obviously are coming for something. They're eating yeah. us. They're eating Lisa. <laughs> They're eating Lisa because she's from Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get an exterminator because this is ridiculous that you guys yeah. have bugs living in your room. But if you guys don't need anything else, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, bye girls. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. The boys of 22. What can I say about them? Well, they're very unique individuals with each having their own personality and a distinct door knock. My point exactly. Are we just right for the winter social, Tyler? Tyler, you wanna play rocking stock and robots? Hey Tyler, you wanna come horseback riding with us? No. Tyler, look what we got at Salvation Army. Hey Tyler, can I um borrow your Katy Perry autograph? Tyler, do you like your pajamas? Tyler, you wanna play some GameCube? Tyler, do I like an, do I look like a young Elvis on vacation? Yo, T. Conroy, we on floor two. This place is sweet like honey, that's Winnie the Pooh. Roddy Bell understands my love and obsession for Taylor Swift. Because she too has love and obsession, but with Bruno Mars. But on Halloween weekend, Roddy Bell transformed. I am Gumby. 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 There is no such thing as Gumby. I love kids. I love kids who are afraid of me. <laughs> Programming.
every RA has to do it, and my residents have been great about coming to all my programs. I take their ideas into consideration, and when I set a date, I make sure they know. Program tonight, 8 p.m. Hey, don't forget about the program tonight at 8. Bake a Palooza tonight, 8 p.m. Don't forget. Bake a Palooza, 8 p.m. Second floor tonight. Don't forget. Thanks, girls. Program tonight, 8 o'clock. Be there. I feel blessed to have gotten the best residents in RA Chemist for. I feel like I'm their big brother, helping them and guiding them through this year, but teaching them how to be independent women. women. They're all such unique and charismatic individuals that the community of the floor just came after me. Will I miss them? Absolutely. I foresee a night in May with me, Ben and Jerry, and Toy Story 3. But I'm excited to watch them grow into the successful Iona PLs I know they will be. And if you guys are watching this, I just want to say thank you. Coming into this semester, I was so nervous, but you made this a year I will always remember. So here's to you, Floor 2. I will miss sharing the stories, the love, and the laughter with all of you every day. But if you take one thing away from this year, I want you to always remember the love that is and always will be Floor 2. And to always remember that you are youer than you, this much is true. No one can ever be true.